As I was saying, Jeremy, moral decay. Hi, everybody. My name is Spammels, and welcome to Not For Broadcast. Big thank you to the publishers, Tiny Build Games, for sending us a review copy to check out. It's available from today on Early Access on Steam. Best way to describe it is kind of like Night Trap meets Papers, Please. We're in charge of a news station during a political campaign, and we have the power to let the people at home know what they need to know. We can follow the script, play it by the numbers, or we can maybe give the camera a lingering on a politician a little bit longer. Let the public know what he's really like. Anyway, without any more stalling, let's begin! Day one, the election. Welcome to the booth, everybody. All right, mate, Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry, it's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. The four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Easy peasy. These plugs control everything in the studio. All you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. Well, adverts are set. I just picked it random, but come to Bumley sounds absolutely amazing. So I'm in control. I'm running the show right now. We're about to go live. I love this kind of thing. I mean, I edit videos for YouTube and stuff, but I love seeing raw footage and stuff. We've got like title screens coming in, no signals on the others. Here we go. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main stories tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be to throw the news titles on screen too. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. A countdown's up. Three, two, and one. Boof! Oops. What happened? Win sports personality. Wait, did I mess up? Oh, here they come. Button two and three. I'm on it. I'm ready. It's happening. Boof! I'm a professional! He's drinking! He's drinking! Look at him! Get back to this. We're running a slick show here. Look at the ladies! I'm not surprised the bloke. <laughs> Listen, mate, we often get a bit of interference around this time of night. You can move that white door up and down, avoiding the interference using the yellow knob or your scroll wheel. Right, so this is where things start to get a little bit heated and complicated. It's not complicated, but it's like patting your head while spinning in circles, whilst jumping up and down, whilst also reading War and Peace. Uh, Big Dave, I'm on it. Shut up. Hang up the phone. I got this. I'm running this. I'm not going to mess up like the Tower of Guts. I can see. I oh, know. Shut up. Oh. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill out the ads. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Oh. Wanker Snatch. <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse you with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. Is this like how real TV shows work? Ladies are swooning in to gossip in front of the camera. And there goes the signal. Right, main camera selected. Adverts are coming to an end. Credits are rolling. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. But first Get ready to go to Megan on screen. I know! Shut up! Jeremy, Megan Wolf, culture like correspondent. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare. Right, to go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Lawrence Blunderclatch! I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a must. Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say happy Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Well, as I said to Peter at the rap... He looks like some sort of crazy person. Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. <laughs> He's all terribly... It's just like Harry Potter when he grows up. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well... <laughs> Elections! Well, Political no, no, no. satire! Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's... Difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, one should always strive to not fuck things up. Shit, he swore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. Shit, he did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how 
to do with swearing in the break. All right, Vitz is coming in on one. Berman is in. I'm shutting this. Watch out for that interference, mate. Set, but we can... Set. Half of it. Oh, looks like Wonder Clatch is losing it in the studio. I'd love to hear what he's saying, but so would I. Now. You can go to the archive when the broadcast's done. We keep you everything. I, I don't want to go to the archive later. I want to see it now. Better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. Listen, mate, I'm a professional. I know a thing or two about f***ing And we're back. I'm told we can now go live to Advance Headquarters, where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Oh shit, well, he's pissed. Shall I start? Get ready to Go for it, Pat. What a day. They said we couldn't do they it. They certainly did. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard trick they had against us, but you, the people, you, only got a you saw word. right through their shite. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. Nice. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. It makes me coarser than the grown is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Memorably Not the funny. Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our executive powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. <laughs> Meanwhile in the studio. <laughs> Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. <laughs> I just love these throwaway cuts. Simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax... He doesn't like this idea. And earlier today... We revoked your passport. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, you're going to pay up. You're going to pay back. Just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with oh, that. Oh, no. Thank you for your time. No, no, no. <laughs> Absolutely smashing! Interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of advance. And adverts! Boom! Some old boring politics then? Is this some weird fever dream? Am I dying now or something? You should be so lucky. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow night. Not coming for a drink? No, got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered! <laughs> Try not to get murdered, darling! Right, final grade, C. Note, outstanding censoring, interference-free and lovely editing. Total earned 200. 200 watts? It doesn't say, but I will continue all of the same. Hi, I'm Megan. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Day three. Day four, five, six. A family matter. It's late. Sam and the kids have gone to bed. You're just drying up a favorite coffee cup, a worn out souvenir of your first trip together. The prints faded, but the goofy face still makes you smile. A knock at the window brings you back to reality. There in the garden, clutching a gaudy neon green suitcase is Chris, Sam's sibling. As soon as you let them in, they sit at the kitchen table, visibly stressed. Chris takes a deep breath. I'm sorry for bursting in so late, Alex. Chris stammers. But I need a favor, and you're the only one I can ask. Uh, are you okay? Should I get Sam? No, no need to worry, Sam. It's you I came to see. I just need two minutes. You've heard about the assets and wealth acts? I literally work in news, Chris. Of course I know. Chris's fist bangs the table. It's total bullshit. That taking whatever they want and distributing it as they see fit. No government should have that kind of power. I can't believe they're actually getting away with it. It's madness, which is why I need your help. Why do I get the feeling I am not going to like this? Chris's eyes seem to be resting comfortably on the floor tiles. Look, I know it's a lot to ask, but I need to borrow your passports. I can't give you that. That's illegal. They've taken mine in half the bloody countries, but people always say you and I look so similar. So, Chris is pacing now. I need to leave before it's too late. Once I'm out, me and my money will be safe, but I need to go now before they freeze my accounts. Please, Alex, I wouldn't ask if I had any other choice. Surely there's another way. It can't be that serious. Chris's mouth falls open. You're joking, right? I've always done right by you, Sam. I've treated your children like they were my own. We're family. Does that mean nothing to you? 
It's against the law. I can't help you with this. I'm not giving you my passport. What if I need my passport? No. Bugger off. Fine. I'll solve this myself. Chris Spitz. Bwah. So much for family loyalty, huh? Grabbing the nylon fluorescent suitcase, Chris disappears into the night. You go back to the dishes, picking up Sam's cup again. The peeling face now seems to bore into you. The knot in your stomach tightens. Okay. Day eight. Day eight. Back to work, hopefully. Oh, God, he's back. I swear to God. I swear, if you... We've been over this, Dave. I do not need your assistance any longer. Bottom four. Bump, 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 bump. And he's gone. Finally. Right, we can play the game all by ourselves. They're setting up for a multi-quad quam scenario interview questionnaire time happening. Tonight, we go behind the headlines to meet the people who live with the criminal justice system every day of their lives. First up, we have Gregory Judge, a lawyer who sees the problems close up on the front line. What's it like on the front line of the hard face of the cold hand of justice? Well, as you can imagine, Jeremy, we are massively understaffed in this country. Uh, we're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desks. Which must affect the quality of support you can offer. Well, we can barely keep up with demand, Jeremy. Uh, there just simply isn't enough being done at a systemic level to relieve the problem. Greg. We need more support from ministers. We... Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> we need change at a structural level, I'm Jeremy. leaving, Greg. Not a good thing. <laughs> Awkward. No. It never is, is it? I'm on live TV! Shut up! Oh, the, the problem isn't a local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. J just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Oh, have you mentioned your affairs? Oh, no. <laughs> well, uh, the affairs of the Justice Department that we Oh, sli smooth about. and sly. Hello, Mr. Look at this guy. Hello, Mrs. Judge. We need, uh, we need legislation to relieve the pressure on our public service. Sorry servants. to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving him? Yes, I uh, totally understand. <laughs> legal sector there. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. I, I want to listen to what they're talking about. I cannot believe you. I would have expected this from your sister. Shut up, audience! 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 I'm sure we all do, Jeremy. <laughs> I am sure we all long for a return to the days when you could safely walk the streets of your community at night, looking in through with <laughs> neighbours without the risk of being terrorised by some thug with a knife. Uh, or kosh. But I gotta get my rating back up. It's terrible! Signal! It's not a simple question, Jeremy, but yeah. I think it all comes down to moral decay. We've diluted our culture and lost touch with what it means to be a citizen of this once great country. Also, as the vicar noted in Sunday's sermon, we probably shouldn't have banned hanging. And to what do you attribute this moral decay? Foreigners, gays and gypsies mainly. What? It's all in the Bible. Look, Leviticus clearly states that... Oh, bugger, hang on a moment. What's going Jeremy, on? bloody gypsies escaped. <laughs> Delia? Delia, could you give me a little help, please, dear? Uh, as I was saying, Jesus didn't like immigrants much, did he? And just to be clear, you think it's the immigrants who are responsible for the moral oh, yes. decay? Absolutely, Jeremy. Uh, back in your box, Clive. Back in your box. Delia, I really could use a little help oh with this. Oh, my God. I'm oh, sorry, darling. I was spaying the badgers. Yes, yes I'm talking to Jeremy. Spaying the badgers. Oh, box. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> it's Wednesday. <laughs> And whose responsibility is it to make a change, Bob? Well, it is certainly not the responsibility of the decent, good, white people of this... where's the padlock? Oh, hold on just a moment. Clive, I am not having this again. As I was saying, Jeremy, moral decay. Crime is the responsibility of the criminal, no one else. Look, everyone has a sob story, but we don't all end up as barbarians, do we? Look, when our daughter Alice comes home with an A minus, does she go on a killing spree? No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Bob Peel there, really locking down the police's position on morality for us. <coughs> I spoke to Mallory at the Bridge Club. She says the hall is absolutely fine for Sunday. No one to keep watching! Corrected assault burglary and menacing a swan. He's agreed to talk to us today, which is also, I believe, his birthday. Many happy returns, Tony. Cheers, Jez. What's gonna happen to you then? Tony. Everybody else does. No, I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm Mr. Sensor. Can you tell us what it's like in prison, Tony? Titwank Tony. Hey! 
prison's a mixed bag. Structure's quite nice, but it's a constant battle against institutionalization, as you can imagine. And obviously, titwanks are quite hard to come by. I'm really up like a lot alone there, Tony. Titwank, Tony. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing me a surprise party. Good bunch of lads. Okay, well, we're trying that you get back to that party as soon as possible. First, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Tipped wank Tony! Censor that, Tony! Open. Yeah, I think asking that is an oversimplification. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, but uh, let's try and soldier on. Yeah, all the boys are here. It's big Chris. Oi, oi. Little Chris. Oi, oi. And Vampire Chris. The stripper's here! This one's here. Yeah. Yeah. One sec, love. Tip on the news. Rehabilitation's difficult with the current system, Jez. It's just not set up for it, you know? It's inherently unjust. It's open! <laughs> it's open! So, do you feel tempted to... And there's now a clown here. Who's this now? You are joking. Chrissy Free Bollocks has only got Mr. Fancy up. <laughs> Chrissy Free Bollocks. That's a whole lot of censoring right there. <laughs> it seems like we've caught you at a bad time. <laughs> oh, I can't really hear you, mate. It's getting a bit busy here. <laughs> yes, we... Uh... Seem to be losing the signal no here, Tony. No fucking way, Las Bolitas! Oh. Well, we're just trying to get that signal back. I think... I'm sure we will. Tony? Tony, I mean... <laughs> How has this happened, Tony? Boys! <laughs> well, we have lost our train of thought there a little. Hopefully you, the viewer at home, have managed to gain a broader understanding of the... <laughs> Boys! <laughs> Oh, the audience is terrible! Lucky young thespian. We've got this guy with the mop top. Oh, we got boys! Oh, they're gone. After these messages. Oh, adverts. One minute back, everybody. And boom. Professional oh, cutting! Oh, piss off. Oh, God. I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. Another day of tears. Tears. Another day of fears. 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 But still, I walk the corridors alone. Uh, I like number two. Around every corner. What's around the corner? What's around the corner? What's around the corner? I don't know what camera to go to. Oh, hi, Gary. Oh, heavens no! It's Gary the Fist. Gary, Gary the Fist. fist. <laughs> Going somewhere, little first year. Great. I've been looking for some poor victim to bully all morning. But will this make me feel better about my violent father? Violent father. Excuse Not me. the violent father. Maths, maths is my favourite subject, and so important. Uh, maths is for losers. What? Maths is for losers. My arm's stuck, coach. Just keep going for fuck's sake. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, maths Got is for sensor. losers. Now, give me your lunch money. Double lunch for me today, but. Why am I only truly happy when I'm eating? Not today, Gary <laughs> Fist. What do you mean, not today? Who are you? Oh, my arm's free coat. Brilliant, keep going. Right. Uh, Brilliant, uh, keep who going. Are you to stand up to me. I'm Gary the Fist. And you're just a sad little girl with two gay dads who's all alone. That's where you're wrong, Gary the Fist. These are my two new friends. Vanessa is captain of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't fight all three of you. And I don't have any friends of my own. Ooh. And then bring out the jazz. Friends are forever. Take a little look. I gotta cut this to the beat. I could be you. She could be you. And you could be me. Or you could be me. Life can be cheeky. Not your tool. If you work as a team. As a team, everybody! It's my choice to be me. It's his choice! Make a difference!
different choice. shouldn't exist but that's just prejudice and I'd do better if you knew the way that I became Gary, Gary the Fist oh, it's Gary the Fist oh, it's Gary the Fist I grew oh. up on a council estate the park was hip but the flats weren't great my dad used to come home drunk and late and he'd hit my mum for dinner he had to wait oh, where's my dinner oh. I guess life's pretty hard on a council estate. 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 It's so damn hard on a council estate. Life can be cheeky. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, that's all we have time for tonight on the National Nightly News. Join us tomorrow night for all the headlines from across the country. My name's Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. Adverse and rolling. we're out. Oh, that was brilliant. What brilliant. the literal fuck was that? I believe that was art. I believe I've got a 14-inch cock, but it doesn't make it so. I have a similar belief about an adequate paycheck. Oh, someone please get these twats out of my studio. <laughs> Broadcast complete. Yeah, I, I purposely tanked a lot of those because I wanted to see what was going on. Not bad censoring. It feels free. Your editing was okay, but cut into the ads was sloppy. I got 425 funds. What am I doing with them? I don't know. Right, I'm going to call that an episode there for today. So this has been Not For Broadcast. Thank you once again to Tiny Build Games for sending us a review copy to check out. I really enjoyed this. They are open to feedback and suggestions. And what the feedback I would currently give is Telephone Guy is way too annoying. I feel like he's totally getting in the way of the game. We may do another episode of this. We'll see how you guys like it at home. Leave a comment down below if you want to see day three, because that's the final part of the game that's currently out, I think. Anyway, if you want to support the channel, pick up a t-shirt, city17online.co.uk, but it's just amazing. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, boosh, there's a link there. It's not a link, it's a picture. <laughs> anyway, on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Right, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.